we all have asked the question at least one time in our life, why am I here? Sometimes we mean, why am I here on this planet in this place and time? What is my purpose in life? What am I supposed to be doing? Other questions were like, why am I in this room listening wait, to this professor? Isn't that, this isn't like one on one. No. <laughs> why am I? Sometimes the answers are easy to find. It's because uh, my parents or my siblings or my spouse dragged me here, and that's why I'm here. Sometimes we, it's I trying to get a degree to graduate, but why am I here? But that metaphysical, that, that philosophical question, what is my purpose in life? That's a hard one to answer. We, even when you think you know the answer, sometimes don't really know the answer. We're talking about a man who from his birth knew his purpose. And a man who had a keen, real keen grasp of who he was and what his purpose was and why he was on this planet. He knew. My favorite friend, John the Baptist. One of my favorite characters in the entire Bible. Because he's a wild and crazy guy living out in the woods literally wild, wearing camel hair clothes that he probably made himself, feasting off from locusts and honey, yelling at people, telling them that they're going to hell if they do not repent, if they don't change their ways, calling people a brood of vipers. And I don't care what you think. Back in those days, being called a snake was not a good thing. You're being called sly, you're being called deceiving. You know, the whole concept of a snake in the grass reminds me. You ever heard that? Anybody else besides me have ever heard of that? A snake in the grass is an old saying saying this guy you can't trust him. You can't see where he's coming from because a snake hiding in the grass can jump out and bite you at a moment and you didn't see it. So being called a snake is not a good thing. And looking at the the Pharisees, the religious right, and calling them snakes. Not just one of them, but a whole brood. It's not a good thing. And yet, hundreds, thousands of people hunted John down just so they could hear what he had to say. I don't know who said it. There was a quote in the book by Leonard Raymond Hill. And I know Leonard didn't say it because he was quoting somebody else. That says, you get on fire for God and the people will come and watch you burn. That's John the Baptist. And we're coming out, of, coming out of the Bible today in John chapter 1. Some of what I'm going to say tonight will sound familiar because I may have, may have said it the last time we met. And my, those who are in my Logos Bible study will definitely hear some things that sound familiar because we read through, we're reading through the book of John. But, you know, it's worth repeating. John chapter 1, starting with verse 19. This is the testimony given by John. When the Jews sent the priests and the Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Then they said to him, who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? Biggest question people are going to ask you today. Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, we're getting so many philosophical questions here. What's my purpose? Who am I? Yada, yada. We've got a lot of things we've got to wonder about. Who am I? One of the big things in psychology wants you to know is wants you to know your true self. Wants you to know about how well do you know yourself and how well do you know you? That's the question these people were asking John the Baptist. John, 
Who are you? Are you Elijah? Background. The prophecy said before Jesus comes back, there will be before the Messiah comes into the screen. Jesus had not come yet, so whoever's catching me on these things, they're not doing a good job. I have to catch myself. But when, before the Messiah comes, Elijah, the spirit of Elijah is going to come and prepare and tell the people that he's coming. And they said, John, are you Elijah? He says, no. Well, are you the prophet? Are you the one that's going to tell us? That's... And he says, no. I think he was lying because what he said next was, all right, tell us who you are. Tell us what do you have to say about yourself. We've got to tell our people who sent us who you are and what we can tell them. And he says this, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the, the, way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah had said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. And they asked him, why then are you baptizing if you are neither the Messiah, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? And John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know, the one who is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thongs of his sandals. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptized. 